Hi students, Professor Hinkle here to share the mystery tube. So what exactly is this mystery tube? Well, it is exactly that. It is a mystery. There is something happening inside of this tube that we're not exactly sure of. Just like when we see a natural process happening in the world and we don't know exactly how it works. So here's the mystery tube. I wish that you could have one at home, but you're just gonna have to watch unless you get real creative and you make one, but if you did that, then you would know how it works. So actually we can't do that either. Now, there are four pieces of rope coming out of four different holes. These are objective observations. Subjective observation would be, this thing is stupid. Or another subjective observation would be, this thing is amazing. But that's not science. That is not something that is falsifiable. OK, but we're going to come up with an idea of how this functions inside. And so I want to do a couple experiments so you can make observations. Now, when I pull the string or the rope at the top, it pulls over to one side. And then when I pull the top other side, it slides back and forth really easy really easy. Now when I pull this one at the bottom, there's a little bit of friction. And when I pull the other one at the bottom, okay, now it's really easy, really easy, really easy. I can pull both at the top and it pulls them in, or I could pull both at the bottom and it pulls them both in at the top at the same time. Now when they're both pulled out at the bottom, I can pull them both in. So lots of observations have just occurred, right? Okay, so we're asking a scientific question. What process is occurring inside of the mystery tube? We don't know. We can develop a hypothesis. And in order to develop your hypothesis, here is the assignment. I would like you to draw a picture of exactly what you think might be happening inside. So here's my hypothesis. I drew the tube and the inside. I think there's one rope in green, rope one, and it's woven in with rope two over here. And I wrote that down, left side rope tied to right side rope. So this is my hypothesis. And we could develop experiments to test this, pulling them both at the top, pulling them both at the bottom, using the results of those experiments to analyze what we've done. And we either, right, scientific method, we either disprove or we reject our hypothesis in favor of something else, proving that it is falsifiable, or we cannot prove it wrong, saying that the evidence supports our original idea. Now remember, science is cyclical and science is social. So we will share our ideas with each other in a small group discussion so we can all collaborate and see if we can get to the bottom of what is going on inside the mystery tube. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to leave you hanging forever so you don't know. I will create another video which explains exactly what is going on. But before that, I'm interested in you thinking about what is happening inside the mystery tube. All right, with that, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing what you have to say about the mystery tube. To reiterate, the assignment here is to draw an image and write down exactly what you think is inside the tube, and you will submit that into Canvas for credit. Now you get credit for doing the assignment. Doesn't matter if you get it right or not because in science, we don't really know if we're getting it right or not until we do extensive, meticulous experiments that are peer reviewed and uh, upheld to the highest levels of scrutiny. For you, what do you think is in the mystery tube? Thank you very much.